morning, everyone. It's good to be with you this morning. I hope you're all enjoying being back at school and being with your friends again. Hope you all remember to turn your clocks forward. We did lose an hour of sleep, but we can look forward to lighter nights. First of all, I've got a favour to ask you. We're going to start with a song some of you have heard called We Trust in the Name of the Lord Our God. We'll put a link to this version on our credits at the end. Though there's also a version with actions you'll find on the internet. We would love if you would record yourself singing this and doing the actions and send it to us at the church. The email address will be in the credits at the end too. We'd love to see you all sing this. So to begin this morning, let's stand up, sing out loud, do the actions and praise God. Trust in chariots and some in horses. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, yeah. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. Some trust in chariots, and some in horses, yeah. parts of the Easter story. We looked at Palm Sunday and last week James talked about the Last Supper. Today we're going to talk about when Jesus was arrested. Now this story appears in all four Gospels. It appears in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and as you would expect with four different people telling a story each account is slightly different. They remember different things or they put emphasis on different things So we're going to look at John's version 
of when Jesus was arrested. We're going to look at John's version of events. It's John chapter 18, and I'm reading from the International Children's Version. Jesus is arrested. When Jesus finished praying, he left with his followers. They went across the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden of olive trees. Jesus and his followers went there. Jesus knew where this place was because Jesus met there often with his followers. Judas was the one who turned against Jesus. So Judas led a group of soldiers to the garden. Judas also brought some guards from the leading priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns and weapons. Jesus knew everything that would happen to him. Jesus went out and asked, Who is it you are looking for? The men answered, Jesus from Nazareth. Jesus said, I am Jesus. Judas, the ones who turned against Jesus, was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am Jesus, the men moved back and fell to the ground. Jesus asked them again, who is it you are looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said, I told you that I am he. So if you are looking for me, then let those other men go. This happened so that the words Jesus said before might come true. I have not lost any of the men you gave me. Simon Peter had a sword. He took out the sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, put your sword back. Shall I not drink of the cup the father has given me? Then the soldiers with their commander and the Jewish guards arrested Jesus. They tied him and led him first to Annas. Annas was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. We're now going to watch the Saddleback Kids version of the story. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seemed okay to me. They found him to be innocent. So Pilate said, that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. I've got a quiz for you. It's true or false. I'm going to read some statements to you and you can tell me whether you think they are true or false. The first one. You will find the story of Jesus being arrested in three of the Gospels. Do you think that statement is true or do you think that statement is false? If you answered false, you were correct. 
you will find the story of Jesus being arrested in all four Gospels. Second question. When Jesus finished praying, he left with his followers and they went across the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden of palm trees. Do you think that statement is true or false? Again, if you answer false, you were correct. It was a garden of olive trees. The third statement. Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas was the one who turned against Jesus. Do you think that statement is true or false? If you answered true, you are correct. Judas was the disciple who betrayed Jesus. The fourth question. Jesus went out and asked, who is it you are looking for? And the men answered, Jesus from Bethlehem, Jesus of Bethlehem. If you think that statement is true, or do you think that statement is false? If you answered that you thought the statement was false, you are correct because it is Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus from Nazareth. The fifth statement. The priests and Pharisees carried torches, lanterns and weapons. Do you think that statement is true or false? If you answered true, you are correct. That statement is true. The priests and Pharisees carried torches, lanterns and weapons. The last question. Is this statement true or false? Simon Peter took out his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Is that statement true or false? Was the servant's name Malchus? If you answered true, you are correct. The servant's name was Malchus. Hope you did well in that quiz. Let us pray. God, we think this week about Jesus and his journey on the way to the cross. We think of how scared and sad he may have felt when people laughed at him and made fun of him. May we always remember other people's feelings and try to make them feel good about themselves. Amen. Next up, we've got a trailer for a VeggieTales movie. You might like to have a family film night over the Easter holidays. We'll put the link for the full version in the credits at the end. The film's called Twas the Night Before Easter. We're gonna help people through the power of musical theater. I've been working on an Easter theme musical, Up With Bunnies. Catchy. Remember, the show has got to be big. The whole town is a buzz. We're ready for auditions. If I try my best and do this right, then maybe I will get it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Next. La, 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 la. It was very karaoke. <laughs> That's Poochie Dog. If Up With Bunnies is going to be a success, we need a star. Cassie Cassava. She's big time. And she's coming home to Crisper County for Easter. All right, guys. We're sunk if we can't get Cassie Cassava to sing on opening night. Cassie can't perform for you. Cassie is singing here Easter morning. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and I... Lure Cassie out of the church, onto the bus, and over to the theater. We just need to get her there in time for the finale. This is so wrong. Service. 
I think we're going to miss it. We're not going anywhere! The bus is stuck in the snow! Gary's awesome in the snow. There's no time to waste. The sun will be up any minute. Failure is not an option, Howie. Hold on, everybody! Will you forgive me for tricking you into singing in my show? Of course I will. I think about God's love. When I think of Easter, oh. it's all the love of God. Love God. Sending his son from heaven above to teach me how to love. Oh. When I think of Easter, oh. when I think of Easter, oh. when I think of Easter, I think about God's love. I think about it. I think about it. That was interesting. We're going to finish today with another song. It's from the Cheeky Pandas. It's Oh Wow, Awesome God. So if we can all get up on our feet, sing out loud, do the actions and praise God. See you all soon. So clap your hands and sing Shout out and worship Him So clap your hands and sing And let the praise begin Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like You There'll never be another Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like You Never be another awesome God. You walked upon the earth, you made. Oh, wow, oh, wow. You died, and now we can be saved. Oh, wow, oh, wow. You rose and left an empty grave.